who is digging deeper into court documents that outline new movement in the murders of four University of Idaho students. In our effort to bring you more to every story, Crypto Shannon Mowdy spoke with a defense attorney about new filings that reference Brady Giulio material. New filings in the Moscow murder case show prosecutors have found and are now sharing with the defense possible Brady Giglio material. Now we have found and are now sharing with the defense possible Brady Giglio material. Now while much of the information is sealed, we do know it has something to do with a quote, confidential internal affairs investigation of one of the officers in the case. And it could be huge for the defense or it could be totally meaningless. So since we don't know what it is. Defense attorney John Henry Brown says Brady Giglio means law enforcement and prosecutors have to turn over any evidence or information that may help the defense. Actually, under Giglio and Brady, uh, prosecutors have an obligation to look for such evidence. Sometimes that's evidence which exonerates the accused. But with mention of an internal affairs investigation, it sounds like this case is about a potential challenge to the credibility of a police officer. Most police departments have created what's called a Brady list. And on the Brady list are uh, officers, detectives, internal personnel who have um, committed some sort of an error in the past. Uh, and that the defense it should be told about it. Brown cautions Brady Giglio disclosures like this are pretty common because not handing over the information can get cases overturned. And the Brady Giglio material referenced here may have nothing to do with the Moscow murder case itself. Uh, it could be something as small as uh, DUI 25 years ago. Um, or it could be something more uh, defense that should be told about it. Brown cautions Brady Giglio disclosures like this are pretty common because not handing over the information can get cases overturned. And the Brady Giglio material referenced here may have nothing to do with the Moscow murder case itself. Uh, it could be something as small as a DUI 25 years ago. Um, or it could be something more serious. Obviously, the most serious thing for the prosecution, the state would be if the officer, detective, or whatever, has some history of not telling the truth. Crem 2 News reached out to law enforcement in Idaho, Washington, and also in Pennsylvania, where the suspect was arrested, to try to find out which agency is involved. We've also submitted public records requests for more information. Mowdy, Crem 2. I'm Brian Engineman for Dan Abrams tonight. He is on vacation this week. Thanks a lot, Chris. We're going to continue to cover this breaking news, these documents that just came out uh, right before the show in the case of Brian Kohlberger, the suspected Idaho student killer, revealing what could actually be a major problem for prosecutors, possible misconduct on the part of an officer involved in the case. That was revealed uh, during an internal affairs investigation and could involve information that could actually help the defense. In a notice filed to the court on Monday and released just a little more than an hour ago, state prosecutors have now notified the court that, quote, the state has become aware of potential Brady Giglio material related to one of the officers involved in the above reference case. That material in the form of confidential internal affairs investigation Key in on that word right there is hereby submitted in camera to the court. And the state goes on to say it will disclose this information to Koberger's attorneys, but because the information is confidential, prosecutors are asking the judge to issue a protective order to prohibit defense counsel from, quote, disseminating the information contained in the internal affairs investigation without court approval. Look, I know it's confusing. I was just telling Jesse Weber, who joins us now, I had to read the document like three times. I'm not a lawyer. Yep. Um, but certainly, this doesn't seem like a good thing for the prosecution. It's not. So let me just break it down real quick. It's called the Brady Giglio issue, right? So what that means is prosecutors, by law, have to turn over to the defense any evidence that might 
help the defense, might exonerate the defendant. And that includes, and this is the Giglio portion, any evidence that might impeach the credibility of a witness. And who have they referred to here? A police officer as part of an internal affairs investigation. So what could this be? What's the worst case? Let's say this was an officer that provided an affidavit in support of a search warrant for key evidence in this case. If that officer lied as a part of that affidavit, if this officer withheld information as a part of that affidavit, the potentially this evidence could be thrown out. This is a big problem for the prosecution. Now, I heard Dave Arenberg on Cuomo show. This could also be something different. This could be something personal about the officer. But by law, they'll have to disclose it because let's say here's a different example. An officer maybe had a pattern of misconduct. Maybe it wasn't directly related to the Koberger investigation. But if this is an officer who maybe lied in the past or had some sort of misconduct, this is something the defense needs to know whether they cross-examine the officer or not in a future trial. But I think this is going to be very important for the defense. And clearly, we don't know what this information is. It is under seal. But I have seen cases before be dismissed because of Brady-Giglio violations and officers terminated because of this. So basically, it seems that there is an officer involved in the Koberger case who has an internal affairs investigation. The prosecution has now decided we need to make this, um, we need to make the defense aware of it. Is it possible the prosecution is just thinking, look, this is a huge case. We want to be as careful as possible. This isn't a big deal, but let's let's do this anyway. Or does this mean that it's actually something significant? They, by law, have to turn over anything that might feed, might meet that criteria. So they are doing their job. We don't really know how significant it ultimately is. But when I read the words of an internal affairs investigation, my first thought is whatever this officer did or did not do, it makes it seem like it might not just be this case. It could be something further. And look, at the, at the end of the day, we're not sure what the impact is going to be. But when you hear the Brady Giglio violation, I've seen problems. I've seen cases thrown out. And officers, this is the last thing they want to be on. I mean, if you are put on this list of potential violations, it can really torpedo your career and can really blacklist you in a way. So is it possible that we'll figure out what all of this means? Because there's the gag order in place. With this whole situation in case, we've been having to piece together puzzle pieces because there's so much redacted every time they release something. You think we'll get the details on this? Potentially. Um, there's a part of it where if, let's say this case is ultimately dismissed. I'm not saying that's going to be the case. I'm curious to see what would be allowed to be said about it or not. Then again, if this officer and if evidence is thrown out, that's a separate question. But if this officer, whoever it is, makes it to a trial, they can be cross-examined about this material. And maybe eventually we would learn what it could be. It's going to be interesting. Jesse, you were at dinner. We called you. Oh, my gosh, there was a document dump. It's a come back to the state. You know, come back over here. Help us understand it. You did. We appreciate you. Coming of course. Welcome back to my mental health and crime channel. My name is Huda London. This is for entertainment purpose only. May the victims rest in peace. This is the case of the Idol Moscow quadruple murders. There's a Brady Giglo material of an officer in this case who's, who has been or who is still under investigations by the internal affairs. The question is, would this exonerate Brian Christopher Koberger? What is the officer's record like? Because it's serious to be under internal affairs, I believe. The question is, is this officer reliable to have been taking evidence or taking witness statements in this case? The sad thing is everything is on a gag order. So we just have to wait and see. But I find this very interesting because if this officer is clearly involved in this case, this could actually exonerate Brian Christopher Koberger because there's many cases that have had the Brady Giglo material evidence with officers who have lied in many cases and the cases have been dismissed. Let's see what happens here. Please like, share and subscribe. Justice for the four victims. And may Brian Christopher Koberger get a fair trial too. He's entitled to that.